keep forgetting to record our class, sorry. All righty, next, as you find that direct quote, I want you guys to examine why the quote is important, right? So I would, I would like maybe mention, oh, it's this theme, right? This is talking about maybe humanity or inhumanity, inhum right? Um, the disassociation to human traits, right? So talk about the theme. Talk about like some kind of cautionary tale. Ask a question like what? Why is Captain Beatty so smart? He must have a whole library of books. Why does Captain Beatty get to be the keeper of the knowledge? And then he can like burn all the books, right? That's not equality, right? Harrison Bergeron would have a field day with him. Just saying, just saying. All righty, next. So everybody clear, you're taking a picture of your notebook and then you're posting it to this assignment. Dylan, you good? Okay. All right, next. This is the fun part. Okay, you guys have your notebooks? Let's go ahead and title it response to counter argument. And what I want you guys to do is I want you to create this beautiful graphic organizer in your notebooks. Sophia, I see you. So go ahead, recreate this graphic organizer. When you're done, show me the money. So we're gonna build an argument today. Um, this is a graphic organizer. And then I'm gonna point out some transitions for a counter argument. Okay, this is your response question for this week's um, assignment. So you're gonna do this on a Google doc after to type out your response. And then you're just gonna take a picture of your graphic organizer and just paste it underneath your, your paragraph. Okay, how's it going? You guys good? You done? 
All righty. So let's look at this. You're going to be building an argument. So what is the main idea? The main idea is going to be your topic sentence. So the question is, what is the cautionary tale of this week's reading from Fahrenheit 451? You're going to use a counter argument to help explain why you have identified a warning for today's society. You're going to look up an article that helps provide that counter argument. Okay, so I'm just going to give you a really like really lame example, right? So I'm going to use one from this first, this first section. Okay, so let's just say the cautionary, cautionary tale for this week's reading was um, of warning us about technology, right? Um, and the overuse of it, right? So if you guys look at everyone, right? Everybody see that, right? So everyone would be maybe a quote about how um, Mildred, right? Is urging Guy to purchase the fourth wall, right? Dylan, you with me? Dylan, you with me? Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna put the direct quote in there, page number. And then I'm gonna elaborate why I believe that that's the cautionary tale. The elaboration, again, doesn't have to be just one sentence, right? It can be two sentences if you're further explaining. Okay, then I'm gonna use a counter argument, right? One could argue that technology, right? And maybe you find an article, right? About how technology is actually advancing, right? The human race, right? So one could argue that what? According to this article, blah, blah, blah. If you guys don't understand this, you guys should be taking notes, okay? So that you can kind of walk yourself through this, right? So the counter argument would be like, what would the naysayers say, right? Yeah. One could argue that what? In the article, blah, 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 right? It says that um, technology is actually advancing the human race. Great, right? The fifth box down is going to be the nevertheless, or let's add in another transition. And that would be like maybe however, right? On the contrary, right? Cause we're flipping it now, right? Or regardless, right? Those you need to make sure that you use these um, transitional phrases because you're adding a counter argument. Everybody clear on that? Okay, counter arguments are incredibly important because um, you're able to present an argument and then also say, I hear you on the other side, but that's a weak argument and I'm gonna crush you, right? You guys are teenagers, you're good at it. This is like you guys' natural ability to counter argue anybody and everything, okay? So what would the nevertheless be? Anybody have an idea? Elise, what would your nevertheless be? I don't know. Mm. Oh. What would your nevertheless be? Anybody have one? Okay. Autumn, what about you? What would your nevertheless be? So if my counter argument is, you know, technology is moving the human race forward, your nevertheless would be what? The opposite right something about what right technology is actually whatever it is right cutting off people some people say that what maybe technology is cutting us off from humanity is separating us right is creating a disassociation with like what it means like to be together right acting properly i don't know something like that Okay, unaffectionate. Oh gosh, yeah. please don't ever stop being affectionate. Okay, number six is the conclusion, 
right? So you got to make sure you remind the reader of your main idea. The cautionary tale for this week's reading is what? Right? Let this all be a lesson for us. Okay. All right. Are we good on this? Okay. All right. So I think what we're going to do, because um, we have, oh, can you guys scroll down to this last section? Okay. So what I did was I basically gave you kind of like the outline format of what you need to write. Pretty straightforward, yes? Okay, so topic, sentence with the tag, what's your point, right? So that's your evidence, your page number. Go ahead and click on the transitions link. Go ahead and click on the transitions link, everybody. Okay, and then go down to opposition, limitation, contradiction. Everybody see that? Go ahead and copy and paste one of the phrases that you would be interested in using for your counter argument. Find one that you may have never used before. Okay, very good. Be that as it may, in spite of, in spite of. Somebody used the word abet, which also means although, right? You'll hear that word come up, thank you. Thank you, Kaolapa. <laughs> right, so the word, the, um, the word albeit is an incredible word. You'll, you'll hear people on the news use it, You'll hear, hear people like in debates use it. It's a great word, okay? Albeit, yes, okay? So let's make sure you, you are expanding your use of um, transitions. Don't just stick to your oldies but goodies, yeah? Please, please don't use on the other hand. I think we've grown above that, okay? So let's make sure you use other transitions that way. You guys can make sure, Caleb, if you use in the end, I'm going to, I'm going to like on my tombstone died from in the end. Okay. Dylan, did you choose one? <laughs> all in all, somebody write all in all. I'm waiting for everybody to choose one. Lastly. Mm -hmm. In conclusion, in conclusion, that's my favorite. As a result. Dylan, from the, from the list of opposition limitations or contradictions. Yeah, Cadence, I really like that. Although this may be true, right? Hey, I acknowledge you, but I'm gonna crush you. Okay, Elise? Okay, notwithstanding. Yeah, okay, awesome blossom. Dylan, did you get a different one in there? We're, we're using, never heard that. That's not a transition, okay. We're using opposition, limitation, or contradiction. All right. I think we're going to cut out a little bit early so that you guys can start reading, taking notes, maybe doing a membean for regular credit. 
for regular credit. Okay, three sessions. Okay, it is 1030. I think we're good to go. Um, just make sure I need, yes, Elise. Okay, so the only reason why I did Membean last week was like, I was assuming, oh, we have Membean this week. Then when we, I attend your class, you're like, oh, we don't have Membean. And then I was like, oh, wow, that's great. I just did like 20 minutes. That's, I, I should have known, you know, should have known, check Canvas, check it. But no, no, I just assume, oh, we have Membean. I'll just do it now. But, you know, you just pull a fast one on me and then I'm like, oh. so that's why I only have, I have 20 minutes last week. Well, you got one extra credit point then. You're welcome. Yeah, Some like people got a bunch of them. Okay. Which is really weird because like, just do it during regular credit hours and that would be this week. Okay. All right. How are we doing? We good? Anybody else want to say something funny in the chat? I saw an email. I know. Sorry, Jaden. Yeah, I had to like correct my email. Thanks to Kalai. He was like, wait, you said it was extra credit. I was like, yeah, I did. Hmm, sorry. Yeah. Okay. If anybody needs to talk to me after, after we're all done, then awesome. Stay on. Okay. But then um, make sure you guys, um, do your work now. Do at least one session of Membean or start reading and taking your, your quotes down. Kalai, stay too, please. Dylan, I'm going to see you tomorrow, okay? Okay. Membean. Yeah. Bye. Go. Thank you. So, Kalai, um, you still got to keep up with the assignments, okay? And then, um, not sure. What happened? You just kept reading it? You couldn't stop reading? <laughs> no, I was just kidding. Oh my gosh, go away then. Okay, thanks, bye. I would though. Yeah, it's a, it's a quick read, so. Yeah, it's a good book. Okay, good. Okay, bye, thank you for doing great in my class. All right. Tiari? I just wanted to let you know that I did stuff and I sent it to you. Okay, wait, for, I checked my thing and it says that my slideshow for like the thing that we did forever ago is missing. Which uh, one is that? The Kalua Ko'olau. Okay. I did the slideshow. I went and checked it this morning because I was like, wait, oh. I did it. Okay. If you look at it, it says my last edit was on like October 4th. Okay. I didn't touch it. I, That's I weird. Okay. So did you just send me all the, the stuff then? Did you email it to uh, me? Or? It was shared with you before, so I didn't okay. resend it, but it should be. Okay, um, I'm gonna look at that. I sent you okay. a new thing. Hang on, Hang on. Dylan. Hang on, Tiari. I have to write things down because I'm getting old. Okay, so um, Kalua I know how that feels. Oh, come on. No, sir. Okay. This is so All right. Dark. All right. Okay. I will look at that. Okay. okay. I'm not accepting late work, so we have to stay on top of things. Okay. 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 All right. Bye. Jaden. Uh, What's going on, Jaden? Um, so for Fahrenheit, the slideshow. Yeah. I typed out, do, can I still get credit for the notebook? Because I put it in my notebook I just typed it all out like you this. crazy what happened I was because like what it's like I would put it inside but it would be so small the words so I didn't want to be like you couldn't yeah, read can... it so I just typed I it all out show you like, oh you can't see I was gonna turn my computer around but I have a huge screen so I can like blow it up oh that's okay. why I don't care okay and then I did put on the top you said I tell italicized the title yeah I'm working with um, Doc Hub and it doesn't let me italicize. Oh, okay. Okay. So right, I thanks. put that sentence in the top. Just all right. Thank you. Okay. Well, you're one of my best students, so I believe you. No. <laughs> yeah. And then, um, yeah. How come you're quiet today? 
What happened? Um, I don't know. Just listen. Not up yet? Like anything yet. No! <laughs> Jaden! That's not you. Okay. All right. So make sure you, you come up with a really good counter argument okay, okay. for your response this week because there's some major thing that things that are going to happen, like, like Black Mirror stuff. You, you ever watch Black Mirror? No. Don't. <laughs> it's on Netflix, just don't. You know? okay. um, it's all dystopian, that's why. So, okay. And then um, don't forget to do your mending. Okay, I think you get extra credit points sometimes, so all good. All righty. Okay. Thank you. Um, you're going to send me that picture, though, yeah? Yeah, I'll send you both of them for the notes. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Cadence, you here? Kate. Oh, hello. What is what is your baby's name? Oh, some bag of rice. Oh, how cute. What does it say on his? Is that a he? You have a boy. No pants, no problem. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Did you have a question? That's so cute. He's so cute. I can't hear you. No. Does it work? Do you do, unplug your thing? Can you unplug your? No. There you go. I was muted. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. You're muted. Hello. I did that this morning. You didn't see me talking to you guys. And I was like, why isn't anybody turning on their camera? And then I look, I was like, I'm muted. That's why they haven't turned on their cameras. Cause I was like, okay, let's get started. Good morning. And nobody did anything. I was like, what the heck? Like, okay. So what's going on? Uh, I didn't finish my work. You're killing me every week. You have can to make I, moves. Can I come in tomorrow? And like do this week's work. I feel like if I come in, I'll actually get most of it done. Like I, I feel like if I don't come in, I procrastinate and then I have to rush at the end. Like, will I be able to come during this class then? And then what? Am I just gonna stare at you and you're gonna just read, or are you going to? I mean, are you gonna bring in something or? Yeah, probably just bring in stuff and then just ask for help if I need help. And I guess just be in that class. I mean, you don't have to pay attention to me. <laughs> well, I'm going to be meeting like with Dylan. Oh. Some, so you can be in the room. But I have to like work with him. So. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. But can we talk about your schedule? Like what's going on? What is holding you back? I was meeting with my math teacher because I was having a lot of mm -hmm. So I was like, I kind of stayed with her last week too. Who's your math teacher? Um, Neil. Kelligan. Is that how you say her last name? Who? Uh, Mia Kelligan. Oh, Van Kelligan. Yeah. Miss Mia. Okay, cool. All right. Um, I. I need because I I mean like you really have an entire week until you come back right and so I need you even though you only finish halfway or whatever it is you gotta submit okay I'm even if it's just something right because if you have nothing by the time you come back and then you want an extension that's a little bit different from you doing some of it and saying you know so if you can try to plan out your time. I know I am, I'm talking to a, a mom. I understand, but I need you to figure out like what time slots you can use to do this work. Okay. Because you need, I mean, like, I feel like I'm having this conversation over and over again and I'm willing to work with you, but you got to show me. Okay. You got to show me stuff. Can I'm sure it's kind of overwhelming. Okay. Because I'm sure you look at the other kids on the screen and you're like, you have no idea, people. Am I right? Okay. And it's all good. Okay. But I'm going to push you because I don't, not that I'm going to be easy on you, but I'm going to be here to support you. Is that okay with you? What's going on? Are you having a Monday?
Talk to me. What's going on? Too much. You know now's not forever. You know that. Right. And then I woke up at two o'clock. Yeah. yeah. So you tired, girl. Oh no, you're stuck. Okay, hi. It's okay. You tired. I know you tired. Okay. And then you see the other kids yawning on the screen and you're like, you're not tired. I'm tired, right? They're just talking stories on their phones or whatever till late at night. I was actually taking care of someone. I get it. Okay. I mean, I don't get it because I only have dogs. Okay. But I get it. Right. But I think it wouldn't have happened to you if you couldn't handle, right? It's one of those things. And you'll probably be, you're probably a much stronger person because you have to juggle all these things, okay? But you can't give up. You can't tell me, Kumu, I think I'm going to, you know, bail out and, and go to a different school. You can't do that. You just got to stay the course because um, I know that most of the kids that come back from college, they say that they were well prepared. I'm not saying that other schools won't, but I think that this is the push you'll need to make things happen, okay? Okay, so if you can, like maybe take a nap during lunch and then try and do some work, okay? Did you turn in your outline, your um, CER? I turned in the outline one. I didn't get to turn in last week's work that we should do yesterday. Okay. Yeah, you didn't turn in. Okay, I'm gonna reopen it if you can finish that. Okay. And then for you, I'm just gonna make Membean an extra credit thing for you. Okay. That's just if you get to it. Okay, but I need you to do the bulk of the work. Like Membean is is to build vocabulary and it's a really good way to build vocabulary, but I don't think it's like extremely necessary for you to okay but the kids do make like major gains on it it's just that the bulk of the work is important as well i'll turn in the work today okay i'm going to open it back up for you so that you can turn it in okay go take a nap okay i'm not saying drink coffee i'm saying go take a nap and then you just chip away at this, okay? And maybe you're gonna need like, you know, the weekend or even like next Wednesday, we don't have school. Yeah, so maybe you're gonna need that time. You gotta look, you gotta like build your schedule here, yeah? And then after next week is Thanksgiving break, okay? So you might be having to do work over Thanksgiving if you don't catch up. Okay, but the point is that I'm not going to let you off the hook. Yeah, yeah. And okay, so I'm okay with that, but I just need you to do the work. Okay, yeah. and then I'll see you tomorrow. Um, I'll be on at 7.45, okay, so whenever, 8 o'clock if you want to come in, okay? All right, buddy. Bye. Bye, no problem.